Today's video is on the most important problem from complex integration. Now I am going to evaluate integral dz by z minus 2a whole square plus z plus 2a whole square c being the circumference of the ellipse x square plus 4 times of y minus 2 whole square is equal to 4. And see here now we have to evaluate this one. For evaluating this one what is the integral given? So that is dz by z minus 2i whole square into this is z plus 2i whole square. And see what is uh, the c contour given? It is given as x square plus 4 times of this is y minus 2 whole square by 4. So if I divide throughout the equation with 4 then see this will be x square by 4 plus y minus 2 whole square by 1 is equal to 1. So, this is an ellipse uh, equation, equation of the ellipse. So, with center, what is the center point here? The center point here is nothing but x minus 0. This is 0 and this is 2. And, and see here, now we have to evaluate. Which one we have to evaluate? That is dz by z minus 2i whole square into z plus 2i whole square. So, I need z minus a. So, I am transforming this like z minus 2i whole square and see I need minus here. So, that is z minus of minus 2i whole square. Here, the singular points are nothing but 2i and minus 2i. See here the points 2i and minus 2i. So whether we have to check whether 2i and minus 2i lies within or outside the given C. So see here. So this is the origin point. This is i. This is 2i and this is some 3i and this is minus i and this is minus 2i and this is 1 2, 3 and this is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. And see here, what is the center? 0, 2. The center x-axis 0 and y-axis 2. So now, so this, this will be the C. And see here, minus 2i lies outside the C. And plus 2i lies inside the C. Therefore, Cauchy's integral theorem is applied only when it is inside or on the contour C. So, if it is outside, this is not applicable. So, I am transforming this question in terms of, see here, this is a minus y and this is, this is minus y and this is plus y. So, I have to evaluate this one. This can be written as dz by this is z minus 2i whole square and this is z minus of minus 2i whole square. So, this minus 2i is outside this one. So, this minus 2i, 2i is outside the C. Therefore, on this point, Cauchy's integral theorem is not applicable. So, I am sending this to the numerator. So, this can be written as dz by, if I send to the numerator, this will be minus of minus 2i whole square by, this is z minus 2i whole square. So, this can be written as dz by, this is z plus 2i whole square by, this is z minus 2i whole square. Now, I will apply Cauchy's generalized generalization of Cauchy's integral formula that is f nth derivative at a is equal to n factorial by this is 2 pi i times of integral f of z dz by the formula here is z minus a power n plus 1. So I need this integral so I am sending these two to other side therefore integral f of z dz by z minus a power n plus 1 can be written as this 2 plus i is dividing and it will multiply the other side. So, it is multiplying it will divide the other side into f power n of a. When we compare with this what is f of z? So, this part is nothing but f of z. So, f of z is equal to so if we compare f of z is equal to 1 by z plus 2i whole square. So, when we compare with z minus a, so a value is equal to, a is equal to, this is 2i. When we compare n here, 
so this can be written as 1 plus 1 so 2 so here 2 can be written as 1 plus 1 so here n value is equal to 1 so if i substitute here in this formula this will be 2 pi i by 1 factorial into the first derivative at the point a a is equal to 2i so what is f of z so f of z is nothing but so what is f of z f of z is equal to see here f of z is equal to 1 by z plus 2i whole square. So, if I make a derivative for one time, so this will be minus 2 by z plus 2i whole cube. So, this is x to the power of minus 2, minus 2, n into x power n minus 1, minus 2 into x power minus 2 minus 1, this is minus 3. So, now f dash of z is ready here. So, in place of z, if I keep 2i, you can see that will be the answer. This is 2 pi i times by 1 factorial into. So, in place of f dash of z, I am keeping 2i in place of z. That is 2i plus 2i whole cube. So, this is equal to 2 pi i minus 2 by this is 4i whole cube. This value is minus 4i. 4 pi i by 4 cube it is nothing but 64 and i cube. So what is i cube here? So i cube is nothing but. So if I cancel this for 2 times i square this is minus 1. This is minus 4 pi by minus 64. So if I cancel this for 16 times the answer here is pi by 16. Therefore, it is very clear that we got the value as pi by 16. So, which value we got? So, this value we got as pi by 16 according to the Cauchy's integral formula. See, it is very clear and easy to understand. First of all, what is given? So, this one is given. So, and the circumference of the ellipse is given as like this. So, here the center points are 0, 2. So, if we plot 0, 2, and if you frame a ellipse here, then minus 2i is outside the contour, outside the circle. Therefore, this minus 2i I am sending to the numerator. So, this will become whole f of z. So, this is z minus a power n plus 1. So, here n is equal to 1, a is equal to 2i and f of z is equal to this one. So, according to our formula, we have 2 pi i by n factorial into f power n of a. So, f of z is this one. If I make a derivative, this will be minus 2 by z plus 2i whole cube. So, if I substitute z as 2i, so this is the final answer. That is pi by 16. Thank you so much for watching. And if you really like, you know what to do, please practice and pass it on to your friends.